Look, buddy, it's your new playground. <laughs> What is going on, y'all? It's Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. I'm out here in the garden. Hadn't shown y'all the garden in uh, a few videos, and it's looking awesome. Uh, it, it is really, really looking great. I mean, this is our mustard greens. You can see our broccoli looks good. Got our turnip greens, our uh, three rows of collard greens right there. I mean, it's looking, it's looking really, really, really good. Our Swiss chard right here, which is not growing as fast as I would like. Um, I don't know. I can just see the size difference between the Swiss chard and everything else. So, But that's a different variety that I've ever grown. So maybe that's what it is. Calendula looks great. Our radishes right here. And our mixed greens. I should have planted this about two weeks earlier. And I think I would have been... I mean, or three weeks earlier, I think I would have nailed the timing. But, life happens. Right now, though, the greens look excellent. I mean, nothing looks terrible. Just some things aren't growing near or as fast as I would like. But that's okay. That is perfectly okay. All in all, I'm happy with it. And I can't wait to get some greens in my tummy. Man. Whew, love them. Love them, love them. But, y'all, oh, my gracious. This is our plan for today. Our plan for today is to get the gates put up in the pond pasture. Now I said in the last video that I thought I was just gonna let the emus in over there and cause I didn't think the geese were gonna go that far. Well, Brooke wants to see if we can get the geese to go over there as well. So the emus and the geese go into the pond. That is our plan for today. I'm, I know what the geese are gonna do when they get over there. They're gonna act like geese. I'm curious about Nugget and Goldie when they get to the pond. Now, from some of the comments, I think some people's perception of Nugget or Goldie getting in the pond is, is they're gonna get all the way up to it and you're just gonna see their head sticking out and they're gonna look like the Loch Ness Monster. I'm very, 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 very doubtful that's the case. I think they'll just get their feet in it and they may squat down in it. That's my, that's what I mean by the emus getting in the pond. They're not, they're, they're, they're not gonna get in there and look like a duck. If they did, I would be highly surprised. I can tell you guys that. <laughs> Whew, but I, I'm gonna tell y'all this though. It is a windy, windy, windy day today. It's actually temperature wise, is gonna be in the 50s today. The sun is actually out, but the wind has not stopped whatsoever. Has it, Holly? I mean, it is whipping. Yeah. Hopefully my microphone is doing a good job and we're not hearing all that wind noise. <laughs> All right, so let's go let the boss lady out, or feed the boss lady, let the goats out, and then we're gonna hang some gates up today and see if, see if we can get the geese to go over there and see if the emus will go over there. I'm pretty sure the emus will just go over there. I really am. They're gonna be really curious. They walk this whole area. Good morning, Sylvester. Peaches, you may wanna hang out in the barn today. That wind is brutal today. I mean, it is rough. We might be able to surf in the pond today. Yeah, probably got some big waves going on out yonder. <laughs> it is rough out there, girl. I do want to give you guys a quick update on Brooke. She is feeling much, much better. She's pretty confident that it's the medicine they got her on. They got her on a steroid right now and she feels like that's more than likely what's going on, that she does feel a whole lot better. Um, we're still waiting on, they got her in the system. They got her in the system. She is going to have a CT scan done and she's gonna go see a specialist, but we're still waiting on those appointments to be set up.
But great news is that she is feeling way, way, way better. Now, her little concern is, all right, Peaches, I'm getting you. I'm getting you, I'm getting you, girl. Her little concern is that what's gonna happen when the steroids are over? Because she can't stay on those forever. That's her big, biggest concern right now. Oh, goodness, y'all don't have, what? Man, all right, all right. Let's get Peach's water warm here. Man, you guys, you guys must have had a party last night or something. Goodness gracious, y'all. Look out. But right now, that is Brooke's concern, is what's gonna happen when the steroids are gone? Is it gonna come back and is she gonna feel bad again? So, we'll all will cross that bridge when we get there. In the meantime, I still wanna thank you guys for everything, for your kind words, for your emails, for your letters, from your comments, messages, prayers, everything. Thank y'all. I really, really, really do appreciate y'all so much, and she does too. All right, Peachy, we got you, girl. I'm coming, Peaches. Don't tear the barn down. Man. Oh, that wasn't her. <laughs> that was the goats. <laughs> Peaches, I was blaming, blaming you for something that you didn't do. Yep, I was. There you go, boss lady. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. I hear you, Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Talk to him. Yeah. Talk to him. Yeah. Good morning, Mildred. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all go have some fun. Bet they're headed straight. Why are they going to the hay bale today? They eat all the leaves up off the forest floor, Jesse. Hmm. Is that what they done? You wanna go straight to the hay now? Hmm. Hey, Jesse. I'm hoping to get the pond pasture gates up and see what the geese and the emus do today. I'm I'm betting that you're not gonna be disappointed at all that the geese move to the pond. I bet she's not. <laughs> it gets loud over here, doesn't it, girl? All right. I gotta get some things for this gate. Got two gates, actually. Whoa, man. We'll get that taken care of. Actually, I, I, I haven't even checked the pond level this morning. Dun, dun, dun. Just trying to think in my head what all I need. But I think this is it. I think the rest of the tools are on the side by side because we pulled fencing yesterday. If you guys saw the last video. I'm just gonna drive. I gotta get some, I gotta get some tension wire right there. So I'm just gonna drive the side by side over here and get that loaded up and just put my tools and all in there. That way I'm not going back and forth. Good morning, biscuit. I made breakfast this morning. You may want to go in there and get you some. There you go. Surely I'm not the only one. I thought I had everything. I double checked everything in my mind. I was like, I got everything this time. Da, 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 da. Still forgot something. <laughs> Still forgot something. And this is this is like the most important, important, important thing right here. This is the ratchet tool to tighten up the little ratchets for the tension or bracing wire. Uh, that's okay though. That's okay. At least I didn't have to go very far. 
now let's get back started and maybe just a quick quick recap for those that don't know what i'm doing and why i'm doing this jason you already got a brace wire right here why are you adding another one well the way this system works is and, and it's very simple it, it makes a lot of sense so i got a brace wire from here down to the bottom of this pole because our fencing went that way okay so you're pulling up against this pole here right and so it's got brace from here to the bottom of that pole so when i'm pulling this way this pole can't go this way right because this wire's got it so when i'm doing a gate i'm putting a gate over here on this pole so that gate's gonna pull that pole or have the chance to to make that pole lean that way and so when i put this wire here at it it's going to brace that pole so it stands straight up because it's pulling against the bottom of this pole right here. That's how all this bracing wire works. All right, let's get back at it and get this gate installed. Y'all, I did it again. I forgot. I forgot one more thing. <laughs> So let's go get it. <laughs> I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Every time. Holly, you're supposed to help me remember these things, you know? <laughs> the checklist in my mind did not go as planned. Hey, but the good thing is, I'll have everything on the next gate. <laughs> You may be asking, what in the world did you forget? Those, uh, those little the hinges or the, it's like an L boat is what, I don't know what you call it, but it's the actual hinge that the other hinge of the gate hooks to. And it's shaped like an L, it's got threads on one side. Well, that thing's hard to turn in that wood and you want it to be. You want that thing to grip. You don't want it to come back out. So I found if I take a big, big wrench like this this box in like this i can put that one uh that one end that sticks out that the gate hangs on and stick it on this and i can twist it especially when you got a big one like this i got way more leverage so that's what i forgot all right let's go one more time with it i think i got everything this time y'all i think i think what you guys think I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> oh, you ready? All right. You can't ride right now. I got tools everywhere. You're just going to have to walk. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Yeah, we don't have a four-seater or two-seater, whatever you call them, but don't be mad at me. I got my toolbox in the floorboard here, and she can't ride, but it's not that far. And she's a young pup. It's good for you to walk some. See, watch what I'm talking about. Right there, see how that works? Look at there. Oh, it works perfectly. Oh yeah. All right, gate one in, let's do gate two. But this time it's gonna go a lot smoother because I got all my tools. <laughs> Hopefully the wind's not too bad, but y'all was over here and I saw this critter right here. And at first glance, you look at that thing and you're thinking, oh my gracious, what kind of monster is that? Does it bite? Does it stink? But don't squish these. That my friend is a baby ladybug. And y'all, that, that little joker right there will take care of some aphids. Probably one of the best aphid defenses there is right there is ladybugs. And they sure will eat them. So don't, don't squish him. Let him go. It's not a spider. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
All right, y'all, gate number two installed. Let me go get Brooke and let's see if we can get um get some animals moved over here in the in the pond today. I want to show y'all something too before we do that. Y'all know I've been using that blue kayak as my gauge for the pond. Well, my blue kayak is officially floating in the water. <laughs> so I can't use that anymore. I know I wish I'd have put me a stick in there and watched the level rise, but a little too late for that now, really. But we can see that it is rising. Now I know we got some stuff right here we need to clean up. We're gonna get these blocks out of here. They help with wash. When we first got here and got all this done, there was some wash running right down through here. Um, it ain't gonna be tomorrow. I mean, the, the pond's not gonna get up that high overnight, so we got a few more days left. Enough of that. Let's go grab Brooke and let's see if we can get some animals moved. Are you ready? Well, Holly is. Give me that baby. Give me that baby. I bet she could do the whole job for us. <laughs> Nothing else needed. Mm, nothing else needed. That's right. So I say just open the gate up and see what happens? Well, they're not going to go over there. Okay. But we can see. Can you act like a goose or strut like an emu? I think the emus won't be no big deal. Let's see what these emus do. Hey, buddy. All right, who's who? This is Nuggo. Hey, Goldie. That's Goldie. Come here, girl. Come here. Let's go on and open it. Oh my gracious, Nug, look. I can get Goldie to come back this way. Come on. Come on, Nuggo. Nope, going back over here. Nope, I'm coming back on this side. Look at here. What do you think? Come on. Come on, we're not gonna sit. <laughs> Let's don't sit down right now. I thought, Come we, on. Gonna, I thought we was fixing to play the petting game there. Look at here, buddy. He's such a good boy. He is a good boy. Goldie might take a she turn. She might. She might. He's coming right to the water. Look at this, buddy. Look at this, sir. It's a giant purple swimming pole. <laughs> Did your feet get wet? Mm. Huh? Yeah, that's my shoes. What do you think? Hmm? Look, buddy, it's your new playground. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. He's so interested in my shoes. Is she coming? Yeah, she's headed this way. I hear her drumming. I do too. I don't know if the microphones are picking it up, but she's steadily drumming. Uh oh, here goes Goldie. 
Cody says she's she got a pawn. She knows what it's all about. It's just like her old place. That's right. There you go, Goldie. Hey, girl. What are you doing, Goldie? She's just fixing things up. Looks like she's fixing to do a cannonball off the dam. <laughs> Give her any ideas. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's probably thinking about that slip and slide. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, she's drumming. I hear her drumming. Nugget, you gonna help us see if the, bring the geese down here? Or try what to bring the geese down here? What do you here? think? He is the sheriff. <laughs> His deputy's just going to stay over there at the at the dam. She may be in the pond when we get back. She may be. Now the geese are not going to go willingly. But I think once they realize there's a pond down there, then it will be on like Donkey Kong. But it's just getting them to understand what we're trying to do. We may have to separate them into two groups, bro. All right. Down the hill, babies. Down the hill. There we go. At least they're not super fast. You think that? Come on there, geese. Oh, Sim Sim, Big C, Pringles, Pickles. Turn, babies. Little bitty crack. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. We don't know what to do. Y'all go on through, it's right there. Y'all go on through, it's right there. Turn around, everybody turn around. There you go. There you go. Go on through the crack. Ah. Y'all are right there. They go in, Jason. There we go. No, no, Sim Sim. There we go. Y'all keep going. Nugget, show your friends around. Y'all keep going. You're almost there. The other half of the flock is not happy. No. These guys are going to be happy, though. Oh, they're going to be happy. Real quick. It's going to be a beautiful sight. Real quick, they're going to be happy. They don't know it yet. Oh, Nugget said he's going to move them on. Down the hill. There we go. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's half of them. There's 20 in that pen. <laughs> Look at there. I don't know what Nugget calls this self I don't know what he's doing either. But look at that. <laughs> Don't they look beautiful? They do look beautiful. It resembles swans. Very much so. Wow. Y'all have never seen anything like this in your life. <laughs>
Oh, me. And neither have I. <laughs> we got to go back and get the other half. Oh, they don't know what to think. That's what you call a gaggle of geese. Is that what it's called? A gaggle of geese. Or half a gaggle. The rest of it's up there. Don't they look happy? They do look happy. Oh, Big C looks like a swan. Yeah. Oh, he's got his head all... He's proud. He is proud. All right, let's go try to get the other ones. You and they're staying together. Yeah, they are staying together. I think that's what they'll do. Well, it's fenced in. No yeah. different than where they were. Right. And they have a water area to, you know, right. get out of harm's way. If I don't think that would ever happen. No, yeah, I think we're good. And I see Goldie. Yeah, Goldie's still up there on the, on the, the pond dam up there. <laughs> oh me! That's a beautiful sight. I see some of them are bobbing under. Yeah, I see that. Excuse I, you, sir. Nugget, but it's grunt sounds like a belch <laughs> all right let's go get your buddies all right let's try this again and maybe this half will come on if they only knew where their buddies were they would go willingly or start running that way y'all don't need them pools no more i see y'all trying to get in them don't worry about them pools don't worry about those pools now Come on, guys. Go that way. There you go. Come on through the gate. Sim Sim's in the lead. Come on. There. Sim Sim's over there. Y'all follow him. Y'all, please. Walk in. Come on right here. They're going to go this way. Come towards me. There you go. There you go. Go that way. Well, we can't get them. They don't like the little gate. For some reason, it's like they don't see the opening, so they're not going in. And all the other ones that were at the pond are coming back. Close them in. Here you go. Oh, this way. Come on. Head up, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go that way. They ain't gonna go. One of them gets messed up. There you go. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. I gave up, Dyson. It's better than coming from this side. Because the gate's there. Yeah. Phew. That was tough. That first group went in with no problem. But then that second group, they were not having it at all. They just not want to come in here. And then that first group went all up to the top of this hill. So that's where the second group kept wanting to go. <laughs> but we got them. We got them in. Now let's go see if we can get all of them through the pond. 
we think what was happening was is they were communicating with each other and thought there was some danger. So that's why the original flock, the first group, came all the way back up here to help the second group. They are they are a geese are a tight knit bunch. I will tell y'all that. They are a community for sure. And they look out for each other. Even when babies are born, all the females will get together and help raise them. It is, uh, geese are so fascinating and loving to one another. And they, they're in pairs and they have a lifelong mate. It looks like that Piedmont Hotel, you know what it's called? Peabody. Peabody Hotel. <laughs> I was thinking they needed a red carpet. <laughs> I need to put my little my little uh, suit on and yeah. lead them on into the pond. Come on, babies. They're almost there. Yeah, well, they see this tall grass and it seemed like the first bunch would show them. Y'all look at this big swimming you would pool. Think. This is the biggest swimming pool yet. Feet first. <laughs> Oh, now. I want to see Sim Sim out there in it. Success. Oh, they're going to go back on the land. Look at him looking around. Mm -hmm. Sim Sim's like, what is this? Pringles? Who's going to be the daredevil that goes out in the middle? That's what I'm wanting to know. They're going to settle down here in a minute. I don't think they grasp how large it is. Well, you would think they would spread out some. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to, we're just going to stand in it. <laughs> Get your feet wet. Oh, me. You know, go swim. Now, look at you, you're floating. There you guys go. <laughs> He's like, I can't touch for the first time in my life. <laughs> Where's my swimmies? Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're hooked together with string. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, y'all. <laughs> what now? I don't know what to think. I don't know if they know if they're geese or not. <laughs> Probably don't. Well, we showed it to you. What else can we do? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get in there and swim today. No. Maybe I should get in the little boat and paddle around, see if they'll come to me. Back up the hill. Back up the hill. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of a dud. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> we did what we set out to do. <laughs> and I don't think it's over. Oh, I think no, it's no, no. Just, it's just it's new. new yeah. And they don't, they don't really know what to think. I agree. They look beautiful sitting up there on the hill, though. They do. Now they're preening. Maybe there's just enough water for them. Yeah, just enough. Maybe they're just so used to the swim the kiddie pools that it's well, just a bit much. We've said it before. Those domesticated geese, they're not like your typical wild geese. They, they and, like water. And, and not like a duck. Right. They're the, from our experience with these guys is, is they want to get in there, wash their feathers off, blow their nostrils out, and maybe dibble dabble in it for a few minutes and they're done. That's right. But uh, a wild goose or a duck will stay in it 24 seven. Yeah, it's, it's too different. Yeah. Uh-oh. That one on the end down there, it's looking like he's He looks like back. he wants to go back down there. But they're gonna, they're gonna stay in that group. The gaggle. The gaggle. That's a pretty sight. That is a pretty sight. Well, we got it done. That's right. That's all we. That's all we can do. That's right. They know it's there. The saying, you can lead a horse to what you, horse to water, but you can lead a goose to water too. Yep. Can't make them swim. Can't make them swim. <laughs> <laughs> so for now, we're just gonna leave the gate open for a few days. Goldie's still on that side. Nugget is back over here on the original side, and we're just gonna do that. Because I want Goldie to be able to come back and forth. 
for now. And we'll watch it. See how it goes. I, th I think once the geese get comfortable over there, then they'll be fine. I'm going to put them uh, a bowl of food over there so they'll have that as well. Y'all don't look very entertained at all about what just took place. <laughs> Y'all look so laid back and chill this afternoon. Goodness gracious. All right, Nug, I'm gonna get the geese some food. We don't have any rain chances in the upcoming few days, so this will be fine for them. I think I'll take it down here close to the pond. So that entice them to come on back down here. I'm just gonna set it right here. Now, there we go. What's going on, Aunt Jessie? Hey, did y'all see all that foolishness, huh? Did y'all see all that? Hmm? Jessie, you know what? Them geese are stubborn as a mule. Not a donkey. Of course, you're not stubborn, but a mule. Stubborn as a mule. But I would, I would like for you guys to do me a favor, okay? I want y'all to do me a favor. Y'all keep this between us. Don't let Peaches know how hard a time we had moving them geese now. I don't want her, I don't want her to know about that. Y'all can handle that for me, can't you? I knew you guys could. <laughs> I'll come back and see y'all this evening. Tip, it's not time to eat, brother. We got two more hours for you to eat, okay? Two more hours. You got plenty of hay over there. New bale. Jesse, you a pickpocket. Huh, did you learn that at Orange Family Homestead? Huh, picking pockets. Did Daniel teach you that? Huh, I should have known it. Mm-mm-mm. What a day, what a day, what a day, y'all. What a day. Hey, girl. Uh, we got the geese moved over to the pond. We got the emus over there. We left the gate open just in case, you know, anybody wants to come back because it's new to them. But went smooth as silk. No issues. Went right on over there with no problems at all. Yeah, it was easy. It was so easy. You go and get you some Z's, okay? I'll see you in the morning. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'll see you in a couple of hours, but you'll be asleep and you won't even know I'm in here, so. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Mm -hmm.